Hello there guys, it's Joel here, aka Galax, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Life has been pretty hectic the last few weeks, um, so uh, there's been a little less video time that I've had, um, but I thought I'd get back on it this week and do a new Stylist Reacts video, which I'm very excited about because it's about me. <laughs> I thought I'd get nostalgic and go and watch my first ever YouTube video, which I believe is from 2015. It was uploaded on the 26th of October in 2014 even. Though it's only fair if I'm reacting to other people that I should react to myself as well. I just remember sitting down, whipping out a camera and be like, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. And here we are. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you enjoy this video and don't forget to share it with a friend. I post content over here and on Instagram. I've been doing that professionally, you would say, for about five years now. And before I started doing all of this, I was a professional stylist working across luxury, e-commerce, TV, and music. Generally, once I've uploaded a YouTube video, I don't tend to watch it again, because once you've edited your own voice hundreds and hundreds of times, you don't want to hear it ever again. And if you were here when I uploaded that first video, then well done, you've made it this far. So yeah, it's called Sneakers, Slides and Shoes. Sort of a shoe collection video. Well, not sort of, it is. Here, I also have a coffee now, so winning. Okay, for those of you who don't know, my fashion blog was originally called The Hallowed Ground and that was taken from Florence and Machine lyrics for the song Howl. It was called The Hallowed Ground for quite a long time until I changed the blog name to galax.com, which is the same as my Instagram handle and my YouTube. Uh, oh! <laughs> I saved up for that Kenzo jumper. That was one of the first like designer pieces that I'd ever bought. I was a massive fan of Kenzo because that was when um, opening the guys who did opening opening ceremony took over Kenzo. Then I loved Kenzo a lot, and I had this little like. But an up shirt, I would never wear that now, oh my god. Hi, um, I am Joel, I write a menswear blog called The Hallowed Ground. Um, this is my first YouTube video. I'm so shy, oh my god, I'm like this. Some more please. I live in London, I'm a stylist slash blogger. Um, and I'm I was going to comment on the editing, like that transition, but honestly my editing style is non-existent and still the same, so <laughs> nothing to talk about there. I'm going to be talking to you today about my shoe collection. The shoes I wear without a doubt the most of the time, the most of the time, all the time, every day, are my I'm so monotone. I'm probably still very monotone, but that's so funny. Like Air Max. Ah. Now, these were such a good investment. I got them from Netta Porter, um, which does women's wear, but these are in a size nine, because I'm a size nine. But they're a special edition um, called like Tier Zero. I was obsessed with those Nikes, um, they're Air Max, but they're like black leather on the top and then white soles, and I wore them with every single outfit ever. They're really good, they're like 80 pounds in the sale, so that was pretty good. I have a thing for shoes with white soles and black up. They're so dirty. Like, a lot of my shoes now are dirty as well, but they're really dirty. <laughs> they're like little bro platform bros. Um, these are platform bro, kind of in the style of Burberry from a few years ago, but these are actually from eBay from China. Uh, they were like 50 pounds. That's me, like they're from eBay from China or something. Obviously some like rip-off sneakers. I mean, some rip-off shoes. Which I was okay with buying them. I bought them for my graduation last year actually. And I've worn them so much, like you can tell they're really scuffed up. I'm really good really now. Yes, John. But, um... <laughs> See, I was into cleated soles like six years ago and I still am. They're just really good for a night out, um, nice meals. Um, just a more formal kind of shoe when Nights out and nice meals, see? Don't want to wear a trainer. But... These shoes are underground. Um, they make the creeper shoes that were really big. I was obsessed with underground, um, like double sole creepers, single sole creepers. These had like pony hair and a zip at the front. I remember I was gifted these from ASOS as well. And that was kind of the first, like, 
bits I'd ever been gifted from ASOS, and I was like, this is the best thing ever. But these have a zip right down the middle, which is really difficult to zip. Exactly, yeah. Kind of like that. And they have pony skin here. I actually got these um, through ASOS from the Access All ASOS program, which is for like ASOS insiders. Uh, ASOS used to have, in the in, back in the day, before like influencers were as big as they are now, ASOS had a thing called Access All ASOS where you, if you were a content creator, you could sign up to it and they would like invite you to do special like event days or gifting and stuff like that. And it was actually really, really fun. That was a long time ago. Um, I really like them a lot. Um, the pointed toe kind of makes them hurt my toes, but I'm okay with it. I'm perfectly fine with my feet hurting because I think shoes look good. The next pair is a pair of New Balance 574 with reflective panels. Um, I got these. See, I used to be into New Balance a long time ago, but they just made my feet look really small, so I didn't actually wear those that much. From ASOS a while ago. I made a mistake though, I got a size 8, and I am an 8, I'm an 8 slash 9, depends on the shoe. I should probably go, if you're going to get a New Balance, go up a size because the rounded toe on the New Balance makes my foot look like some kind of stump that I walk around on. I look like I'm going to fall over at any minute. Um, so I would recommend if you get a New Balance, definitely try them on and see what size you are. They are comfy except for the... the... Sorry for the backing track, it's very loud. I feel like me getting any sentence out is so stressful, like it's painful to listen to because I don't know what to say. Next pair of sneakers are the Nike Air Max Luna. One, I think that's uh, Why I had sneakers with green soles is beyond me. Like, looking at them now, I think they're hideous. But at the time, I was like, these are so sick. Um, pretty sure what I mean. Um, they have a material upper and a lunar long sole with a Nike Air Max bubble included. Um, kind of blocking my face, this shoe. Um, Chipotle. Yeah, they have a, a fluorescent green sole with flex on them. I've not worn them that much yet because I'm still trying to get used to wearing colour and wear mainly black and white most of the time just because. Look at me now, grey and green. Because in summer I was obsessed with slides. I think a lot of people were. Um, I wore them socks, I wore them by themselves. I wore this pair of Mike Bonazzi black and white. I remember going to work one day. I worked um, as a personal stylist for a fashion app briefly before I worked at Net-A-Porter and this was back in like, what, 2014? My office was in Shoreditch, so I'd walk to work and I was wearing like a massive oversized t-shirt, shorts, and then like sports socks with those silver metallic slides. And I was like, I'm so cool. With tw Taylor Swift, Shake It Off, playing really loudly on my headphones because that was what was hot at the time. Slides um, from ASOS and all the on holiday in Bulgaria with my friends, so they were really fun to just slip on and feel really comfortable and happy with the choice I made. Um, the next pair were kind of a, uh, I have to have these because they are liquid silver. They're liquid silver Benassi solar soft slides from End Clothing. Look at me buying from End Clothing in 2014 before anyone knew about it. They only had one store then, that was the one in Newcastle. I don't think they had any more. I think it was Newcastle, um, but I bought them online. And I remember just like being obsessed with that website. Yeah, and it's like mirror silver. I remember they did the liquid like Air Max mm. a couple, uh, well, like last year. I was crazy over them as well. I ended up with the black and white pair just because I knew I could wear them more. They're really uncomfortable. I actually <laughs> them with I was so conscious as well at the time I remember to not move my head and face. I was just like looking at the camera like, yes, and these shoes hurt my feet because they are painful. And finally, probably the best sneakers I've ever owned are the Simulation by Samuel Yang and Dai Fang Wan. I was Tumblr famous for these shoes. When I posted my pictures that I took outside my mom's house on self-timer on Tumblr with the, with the soles that were lit up, my tum my Tumblr had never seen such activity before. I had like thousands and thousands of um, 
reposts, is that what you would call it? And everyone was like, where do you get those shoes from? And stuff like this. It was wild. They're amazing and they light up and what could you, more could you possibly want from a sneaker? So yeah, if you feel like you want to wear this, then um, you should probably get it because... No. Well done, Joel. If you feel like you want to wear it, you should probably get it. The advice of the century. What is this? What is this shoe? Um, I hate myself. Yeah, I so, them. yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's my first one. So please give me any feedback. I know the lighting's not great. Um, uh, if there's anything else you want to see or hear about, um, I'll put links to all my social media and my blog underneath. Um, I actually had quite a lot of fun making this. Um, <laughs> Contrary to my attitude, I'm like, I had so much fun making this video. In the same pages, I'm going to make a video and finally done it. And I just want to know what you think. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've never said that before. I thought maybe I should have shown me wearing the shoes. Yes, I should have done that. Oh, look at that little credits. Like a film. Thank you for joining me on this trip down memory lane. I hope you enjoyed watching that video. We've come so far in these six years. Um, I always thought it was five, but I was still working. Um, like I said, I was working at that fashion app at the time. Then after that, I would at Metaport for a year before I quit to do full-time. So I've been full-time influencer five years, but obviously was creating content years before that because i started my blog in like 2010. anyway i'm rambling now i'd love to hear your video ideas in the comments below who you think i should react to next for my stylist react series and um i will be vlogging this week as well um so look forward to that on sunday and i will see you guys soon thanks for watching bye